What is up guys, Dollar in a Dream coming at you with another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about a unique way people are making money on eBay that isn't very widely talked about on YouTube and that's by buying up undervalued listings and relisting them for a quick flip and a quick profit. Now to all of you looking to get in on these undervalued listings, I actually have one undervalued listing that I really want to recommend to you guys and that's the subscribe button. So right now on Dollar in a Dream they're listing it for free 99 so definitely go ahead and take advantage of that undervalued subscribe button and without begging for subscribers anymore let's get right into the video so I have two main methods I want to go over and discuss with you guys when it comes to finding undervalued listings on eBay and the first one is newly listed items so let's say you're looking for an undervalued Xbox one whether you're buying it for yourself or you're buying it to resell for a quick profit all you have to do to take advantage of these newly listed undervalued items on eBay is to go on your phone or on your search browser, type in the product you want, Xbox One for example, and then type completed listings. So now that you have either your phone or your web browser pulled up with completed listings, you open up another tab and you look up Xbox One and then you go from where it says best match. Instead of best match, you want it to select newly listed. So what you're going to find there is the people who most recently listed an Xbox One on eBay. Now what you're looking for is people who don't know what their Xbox One is worth. A lot of people are selling off their game consoles right now and they don't always know exactly what they're worth because they're just trying to get some cash for it while they go buy the PS5 or the next gen console. While people are doing this we want to make a quick flip off their undervalued listings and how you can find out what they're really worth versus what they're selling for is by looking at that completed listing tab that we talked about and seeing what their average sell for rate is. So say that an Xbox One could be going for $220. You know, I'm not exactly sure on the price. I'm not looking at the screen right now. But say for example, it's going for $220 on average and you found someone who just listed it for $150. Now that's a $70 gap, but we always have to take into account the 10% eBay fees 3% PayPal fees and whatever it might cost you to ship that Xbox. I'm going to say probably $13 on a medium flat rate priority mail box. So after taking all that into account, you're really not making that much. Maybe 20 bucks, which isn't horrible, but it's not that much for putting up like $150, $160. So what you want to do on these newly listed items, people who already don't know what they're worth, or they're listing them for way under what people are on average selling them for, they just want to get cash for them really fast. So what you're going to want to do is make them a best offer. So say it's going for 150 and you say, hey, I want to get it for $120, offer them $110 and you know maybe you guys can work he can work you up to 120 or if you're lucky he'll accept 110 you know a lot of times they aren't going to even like look at your offers or they're just going to straight up decline it that's okay just keep moving on to the next listing and i guarantee you after sending in enough of these offers someone's going to bite they're going to take it and you're going to get an undervalued item that you can resell for a quick profit now that you have a basic understanding on what you can do to score some undervalued listings on the newly listed section of ebay i want to go ahead and talk about my second method of finding undervalued listings and that's through misspelled listings now this is something i recently learned of but i guess it's a grind that's been going on for quite a while you know i've never really heard of anyone on youtube talking about it but I actually found it on Google where there's this website called typohound.com and there's also a lot of other websites that offer this exact same tool where you can type in a keyword such as PlayStation and it'll automatically scan through eBay. It'll give you a link to go through all of the listings that could be misspelled for the product word PlayStation. Now PlayStation is a really good example of a keyword to use for the misspelled listing tool because it's 11 characters and it's really easy to just fat finger one of those characters and spell it wrong. So what typohound.com does for us is we type in PlayStation correctly and it gives us all of the possible misspelled listings on eBay for that keyword PlayStation. Now what we're hoping for on these misspelled listings on eBay is that they're getting low traffic. Not a lot of people are really seeing their listings so they're not selling as fast as they were hoping. So just yesterday I used the keyword PlayStation on Typo Hound and I actually found two really good deals on PlayStation 1s. Now this isn't a PlayStation 4, 3, or even 2. These are PS1s so they might not have as high of dollar amount flipping potential but there still is potential to flip these PlayStation 1s. 
So on average, it's looking like a PlayStation 1 bundle with the controllers and the power cords and whatnot is going for about $60 to $70. And I was able to find two listings in the $20 range that I was able to talk down to like the $12 and $13 mark. And after shipping and everything, I paid about $25 to $26 per PS1, which included controllers, but they did not include power cords. So the reason that these sellers were willing to take such a low amount for their product was their listing was sitting on eBay for several months. One was for like a month and a half and one was for two months before anyone had even purchased their product. So when I finally slid in with an offer for $12 or $13, I can't remember exactly what it was, for their PS1, they were more than happy to take it and just get it out of their life and ship it off to me. Now all I'm gonna do is buy the power cords for the PS1, which is about $6.95, that includes the video cord as well. And I'm gonna test it out, make sure it works. You know, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna return it. But assuming that it does work, I'm just gonna relist it on eBay for about $70 and make a quick $20 to $30 profit after all the fees and everything. Now, as you might have noticed, this worked well with PlayStation because there's so many characters in the word PlayStation. You wouldn't wanna try this with something like Xbox. You know, Xbox is just four letters. With a four letter word like Xbox, it's just gonna bring you up a bunch of weird stuff. You're not gonna really find any misspelled Xbox listings but I know a lot of people are doing these with shoes and clothing brands you know unfortunately I don't really know a lot about clothing and shoes so I didn't really want to just jump head first into buying clothing and shoes that I don't really know too much about and you know even risking that who knows maybe it's fake or something so I didn't personally want to jump in right with clothes but if you have a really extensive knowledge on clothing such as shirts shoes anything and you know their brand names, what they're worth, and you can just cross-reference with the completed listings, the Typo tool has a really high potential for making you a good profit when it comes to clothes. Now, I know there's gotta be a lot of other items out there other than PlayStation that work with the Typo tool, so I encourage you to go out there and discover what works for you, where you can find it at a cheap rate because somebody misspelled their listing, they're not getting any traffic, and you're able to just slide in with that low ball offer and take it off the seller's hands. Now, if you're new to selling on eBay and you're worried about you know, figuring out how to resell these items on eBay, I do have a beginner's guide to getting started selling on eBay. It's got everything you're really gonna need to know to get started as an eBay seller from taking good pictures, making good descriptions, appealing titles, all of that. So I do encourage you to go check that out. I'll put a link to it in the description. But with all that being said, that wraps up my video for today. If you learned anything at all, go ahead and hit that like button and I would really appreciate it. And if you do plan on trying this out, go ahead and comment below what your strategy is. Or if you don't wanna give away your strategy, just let me know you're trying this out. You know, Let me know if you have any success. Or I really wanna hear back from you guys. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys all on next Monday's video and I wish you guys the best when it comes to finding those undervalued listings.